Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday, February 11th, and we're just getting ready to go down to uh, the house of the Lord and worship him this morning. We trust that you are as well, and uh, it's just a joy to be with you once again on this time of uh, Bible reading and prayer. Today, we will be reading 1 Corinthians chapter number 15. So if you would like to follow along with us in the word of God or just listen, we'll do that here in just a moment. But we want to say Hello, and we're praying for all the preachers, the men of God who will stand and preach the gospel today. May the Lord bless you richly and uh, give you souls for your labor. If you're watching this video and you are looking for a home church today, we pray that you'll prayerfully consider coming on down to the Free Gift Gospel Mission at 1025 Maple Street in Kingsport and uh, worship with us. We would love to have you and your whole family present uh, in our midst today. So uh, good morning to everyone who's watching. We see Terry and we see my mom and we see Robin and Marnita and good morning, Rania. Good to see you today. We hope you all have a blessed and wonderful day today. Uh, and uh, God bless you all. We're going to pray and then I'm going to get right on in with 1 Corinthians chapter 15 because it is a, a lengthy chapter. We added Kim and Cody and Eric Smith to the prayer list last night, so let's remember them as uh, sickness has uh, come upon their family. Let's lift them up in prayer and do remember uh, all of the other names that are on this prayer list that we have in front of us right now. The Lord knows every need and every situation. So let's go to the Lord in prayer at this time. Father in heaven, we just thank you for this new day that you've given us lord we know that your mercies are renewed each day and we're very thankful for for that because we need your grace and mercy day by day and each day and each step that we take in this life we need you and your strength and your power dear god uh, to be able to stand and help us all to stand in this world in the face of persecution in the in the face of opposition or come what may standing in your power and strength, Lord, uh, faithfully proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ to every creature. Help us to do that, God. Lord, we pray, Lord, for the Smith family, God, that you'll touch them. And we pray, God, for each individual on our prayer list this morning who's struggling with sickness or some other situation that might have them discouraged today. I pray that you'll give them grace and help them in their time of need. Lord, bless the church services today. Uh, be with us at the Free Gift Gospel Mission. Our desire is for Christ to be glorified there through the proclamation of the gospel. And Lord, we just ask God that uh, the Spirit of God would work and move and bring in the lost, that they might repent and believe the gospel. Grant it, Father, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Good morning, Marnita. We'll see you here in just a little while. All right. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 in the Word of God. Here's what the Bible says. It says, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also you have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures, and that he was seen of Cephas, then of the twelve. After that he was seen of above five hundred brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain unto this present, but some are fallen asleep. After that he was seen of James, then of all the apostles, and last of all he was seen of me also, as one born out of due time. For I am the least of the apostles that am not meet to be called an apostle because I persecuted the church of God, but the grace by the grace of God I am what I am, and his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain. But I labored more abundantly than they all, yet not I but the grace of God which was with me. Therefore whether it were I or they, so we preach, and so ye believed. Now if Christ be preached that he rose from the dead, how say some among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? But if there be no resurrection of the dead, then is Christ not risen? And if Christ be not risen, then is our preaching vain, and your faith is also vain? Yea, and we are found false witnesses of God, because we have testified of God that he raised up Christ, 
whom he raised not up, if so be that the dead rise not. For if the dead rise not, then is not Christ raised. And if Christ be not raised, your faith is vain. Ye are yet in your sins. Then they also which are fallen asleep in Christ are perished. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. But now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. But every man in his own order, Christ the first fruits, after they that are Christ at his coming, then cometh the end, when he shall have delivered up the kingdom of God, even the Father, which he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power, for he must reign till he hath put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. For he hath put all things under his feet, but when he saith all things are put under him, it is manifest that he is accepted, which did put all things under him. And when all things shall be subdued unto him, and shall the Son also be himself subject unto him that put all things under him, that God may be all in all. Else what shall they do which are baptized for the dead? If the dead rise not at all, why are they then baptized for the dead? And why stand we in jeopardy every hour? I protest by your rejoicing, which I have in Christ Jesus, our Lord, I die daily. If after the manner of men I have fought with beast at Ephesus, what advantageth it me if the dead rise not? Let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we die. Be not deceived, evil communications corrupt good manners. Awake to righteousness and sin not, for some have not the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame. But some man will say, How are the dead raised up, and with what body do they come? Thou fool, that which thou sowest is not quickened, except it die. And that which thou sowest, thou sowest not, that body that shall be, but bare grain, it may chance of wheat, or some other grain. But God giveth it a body, as it hath pleased him, and to every seed his own body. All flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of beasts, another of fishes, and another of birds. There are also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial, but the glory of the celestial one and the glory of the terrestrial is another. There is one glory of the sun, another glory of the moon, and another glory of the stars, for one star differeth from another star in glory. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption, it is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor, it is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness, it is raised in power. It is sown a natural body, it is raised up a spiritual body. There is a natural body, and there is a spiritual body. And so it is written, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Howbeit that was not first which is spiritual, but that which is natural, and afterward that which is spiritual. The first man is of the earth, earthy. The second man is of the Lord from heaven, is the Lord from heaven. As is the earthy, such are they also that are earthy. And as is the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. And as we have borne the image of the earthy, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither doeth corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trump shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality, so when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be unto God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, 
always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. All right, that is 1 Corinthians chapter 15. And we hope that was a blessing to you today. Come back tomorrow for uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 1 as we continue reading day by day uh, one chapter from God's Word. Hello, Josh. Good to see you. And Kim, we're sorry to hear that you're feeling bad. We hope you feel better soon. And good morning, Walter. We hope you have a good day uh, today. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day. And uh, we'll see some of you at church here in a couple hours. And uh, the rest we'll see tomorrow. God bless you all. Thanks for watching.